again. Welcome back to Eclipse and Java for Total Beginners. In this lesson, we're going to create our library class. This class is going to hold lists of book and person objects representing the books we own and the people who might borrow the books. Now the word library is not a reserved word in Java, so we could call our class library. However, a library in Java refers to a set of packages. So to avoid any confusion, we're going to call our class My Library. We're going to continue with the test first approach we use to create our book class. The first step is to create the My Library test class in the test folder. So we'll open up the project, we'll open up the test folder, we'll highlight the package, file new, JUnit test case, and we'll call it My Library Test. Press Finish, and we have our new test class. Now let's write our constructor test method. First, we'll put in a comment saying test constructor. Then we're going to create the test constructor method, which is void, and it's called test my library. And the first line is just going to be to create a new my library object. So we we'll use code assist, go in my library, ml equals new my library, and we'll give it the name test. Double click to give ourselves a little space. Now this first assert statement is the same as we've seen before. Assert equals and we're going to just say that the expected is the string test and the actual is the ML name. So we're going to pass in the name of the my library object in the constructor. Now this next line is a new method, assert true. And this wants a Boolean value. So in this case we're going to say ML books is an instance of array list. We're going to talk about this more in a minute. And the second line is very similar. We're going to assert true that ML people is an instance of array list. Now let's look at these last two lines. A Boolean is a type that evaluates to true or false. The assert true method succeeds if the value inside the parentheses evaluates to true. Now we're using a new operator called instance of. This tests whether an object is an instance of a type. So ML books instance of array list. And this will return true if ML books is an array list. And the same thing if ML people is an array list. So we're simply asserting that ML books and ML people are both array lists. Now, let's use Quick Fix to help us create the My Library class. So if we click on this first error, it says My Library cannot be resolved to a type. And remember from before, if we hit Control-1, first option here is Create Class My Library. Now, we need to remember we don't want this in the test folder, we want this in the source folder, so we'll just change this to SRC, press finish, and now Eclipse has created an empty My Library class for us. Next we'll use Quick Fix to create the constructor for us. If we hit Control-1, the second option is Create Constructor My Library, double click, and Eclipse has created the constructor for us. Next, we'll continue working through the compiler errors in the test class and in the process create our fields using Quick Fix. So first we'll come down to this compiler error on name, hit Control-1, and it says create field name in my library. Click, and we've done that. Now we're going to remember to save here as we go back and forth so that uh, these classes are compiled as we go. So now we'll do the same thing. We'll click here on books, go control one, 
and it'll create a field. Now notice that it's creating objects, so we're going to have to come back and, and look at that. Again, we're going to save. We'll go back. We've got an error here on array list. Let's see what that is. If I hit Control-1, it says, oh, we need to import. So we'll do that, and that adds the import statement to our test class. Now we'll come down on the second field, Control-1, Create Field. and now our test class compiles. Another way to check that our project doesn't have any compiler errors is to use the problems view. If we double click here we can check in the problems we have a warning but we have no compiler errors. At this point we're ready to finish the constructor method in the my library class. First let's remove the public access modifier on the fields. If you remember from before, if we leave out the access modifier, it means package protected. So that means other classes inside the org total beginner tutorial package can access the fields. So our my library test class can access these fields directly, but other classes outside the package cannot. Now notice that Quick Fix set up the first books as object. I think that's because we didn't have the uh, array list import in at that point. And then the second one, it set up as array list, but it didn't specify the type. We'll change these to say array list book and array list person. Now notice that Eclipse put in the import statement for us, so we don't need to. Now let's code the rest of the constructor. Let's change this local variable to name. I think that's a little more clear. And then we're going to say this name equals name. And this is familiar to you. This is saying that the field name is being set to the value of this parameter name. Now we need to create empty array list objects. So the first line will be books equals new array list book. And then similarly people equals new array list person. Now there are a few things to note about these two lines. We're calling the array list constructor using the new command and we're using the generics feature in Java to restrict the type of objects that can go into these array lists, either book or person. Now this syntax might seem a little confusing. We're putting the parentheses at the end because we need to include empty parentheses whenever we call constructors and methods that have no parameters. Now notice that up here when we name the fields we're letting we're putting in array list book array list person we're declaring the type of fields and then down here when we use these fields we're leaving that type off. An easy mistake to make in Java is to put the type in down here when you when we use the field. And let's try this just to see what happens. So we're going to say array list book books. Now notice that this is now telling us that books is a local variable that's never read. By putting this array list book in front of the word books we're telling the Java compiler that we're declaring a new local variable instead of using a field that we've declared already up here. So that's a real easy mistake to make and you want to make sure that you only declare any variable in Java once. If you try to declare it again you can get into trouble. So let's take this out and notice that this now turns blue and it knows it's the field up there. We will save it. Now let's run our test to test the constructor. We'll go back to the test. We'll go run. 
run as JUnit test. And it succeeds with no errors. Now, one thing to note about JUnit tests, I'll minimize this, is that they all the test methods have to start with the word test. For example, if I were to change this method name to my library test oops, and rerun this test, I get a warning no tests found in the test class. And the reason is it only looks for methods that start with the word test. So change it back and rerun it. And we're good. Now let's just try one other thing before we end the lesson. Remember that we added the restriction to only put in book types to the books list. Let's see what happens if we try to add a different type to the list. So let's type ML books that gives us array list add and let's try adding a string. See we get a compiler error saying the method add book is not applicable for the argument string just like we got in the scrapbook. So we'll remove this line and save our file. Let's rerun the test one more time. Again, it succeeds. So at this point, we've got a working constructor for our My Library class. In the next lesson, we'll start adding other methods to this class. This is the end of Lesson 10. I'm Mark Dexter saying so long for now.